One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Tapo C120 Indoor-Outdoor Security Wi-Fi Camera, which we've got right here. Now, this is also known as a TP-Link Security Camera, so we'll get started. The first thing that you need to do is download the Tapo TP-Link app, which looks like this. Once you do that, you're going to need to either log in or create a TP-Link ID, so we're going to do that now. Choose your location and enter an email. Set up a password. Go to your email and activate your TP-Link ID. We went to our email and we had a link from this provider, so click activate and log in. Now enter your password. Once you've set up a username and password and or logged into the Tapo TP-Link app, you're ready to set up your Tapo C120 camera. In order to do this, we're gonna click in the upper right hand corner on the plus symbol. Here it says add a device, so I'm going to click that. It says local network permission is needed and you just need to scroll down here. It says you wanna be able to scan for devices on the local network. I've already given local network permission, but if you haven't, click go to settings and make sure that you turn it on, just like it's shown here. You wanna have your local network with that green icon. We're gonna click, I've already given local network permission. Now we're going to click add a camera. We are adding an indoor and outdoor camera, so we're going to click on outdoor cameras. Now, right at the top here, it says a Tapo C120. That's what we're setting up. And it says securely connect the power connector. So on this device, the power connector is right on the back here. You can see it right there. We're going to plug this in and we've already got the cord plugged into a power outlet. So we plug that in and you can see it will light up right here. We've got that red light, which indicates that this is now powered up and ready to get started. I'm going to click next. Power up and check the LED. Plug in your Tapo device and wait about 30 seconds till the LED starts to blink green. So now it's blinking red and green. That means this is ready to set up. Click already red and green. Here it wants to use your location, so we're going to click allow while using the app. Connect to your Tapo device. Here we need to go to our Wi-Fi and join the Tapo cam. We're in our phone's Wi-Fi network tab and you can see the Tapo cam has popped up. It took about two to three minutes for the Tapo cam Wi-Fi network to pop up once this started blinking red and green. So if you don't see it at first, give yourself another two or three minutes and then this should pop up. Once it pops up, you're going to select the tap out cam, which is right here, and now we are connected. So once you're connected, you can go back to the setup here on your Wi-Fi device, and it says a Tapo is looking for the device. So now it is connected. It says no networks available. We're going to scan for other networks, so click rescan here. Once we press rescan, this is what pops up, and we're just going to select the network that we're going to connect this to. Once we've confirmed the network and entered our password, we're going to click next. It says the Tapo device will connect to the following network. Click next. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Let's give our Tapo cam a name. So we're just going to name this one Patio. Click next. Give it a location. We'll just call it the hallway. And now we can create an icon for this. We'll click that one and click next. Complete. Your Tapo device is ready for use. Sounds good. Here it says Tapo Cloud Care Services. We can try it for free for 30 days now or click skip. Let's see what that does. We have enabled our 30 day free trial of Tapo Care. Let's click okay. Set up local storage. Now the Tapo C120, you can put a micro SD card in there and then it will actually record local storage on the camera itself with the SD micro card in addition to having Wi-Fi connectivity. We're going to click got it. Now it's got a firmware update. Auto update is enabled to keep your smart device up to date for optimal performance. You can turn it off. 
Updating from 3 to 5 a.m. sounds okay to me. I'm gonna click got it. Great, our patio Tapo C120 Wi-Fi smart security camera is ready to use. So let's click on this. This is what pops up. So now I'm going to click go. It says 2K QHD high resolution with 1.7 more pixels than 1080p, smart AI detection, and watch, listen, and chat. Click got it. Tap once to show or hide icons. Pinch to zoom in and out. Double tap to quickly zoom in. And now we can see the live view of our Tapo C120, which we've got right here. And it shows us alerts when we actually have something in front of the camera. So we've got all kinds of different options within the app. We can click there and then it would save that to our photos. You can click allow for access and then it's going to save your photos that you take right to your library. You can also talk through this so it has a two way communication so you can hear what's going on as well as talk to someone on the other side. I'm not going to do that right now because we'll get a ton of feedback otherwise. You can record and save whatever you have going on. So you can see my hand here. And there's not really much of a delay at all, as you can see, maybe a half second or two, but I will record that and that is then saved to memory. You can click right here and that will change the camera's microphone setting. So you can move that up or down. Uh, to whatever you want. And then right here, you can click here and it would allow to access your microphone to detect your voice so that you could have a two-way communication with the Tapo C120. We've got our alarm off, but if we turn this on, we can use it as an alarm. And you can hear there, it is an alarm, just like a siren. You've got a privacy mode. We also have a light that we can turn on. So I'm gonna turn this on and then you can see it's got two lights here, but this does have day and night color vision. So that's gonna help illuminate it more like it's daylight, but you can uh, use this at night even without those lights turning on, you're still gonna be able to see what's going on or off. You can turn tags on and then what that will do is tag something that happens and it will say a person was detected because it detected my hand and then you can see it tracks where motion is. Once I go down here, I've got my playback and I can download these. Uh, I can also switch between cloud recordings and what I have stored on the SD card, which is a really nice feature. So this is 2K QHD. That means it's a higher definition than most 1080p cameras that you're used to. Uh, 1.7 more times more pixels than a typical HD camera. Now here I can play back any of these clips that are saved and uh, you can go through whatever you want and see what's going on. So that's nice, it's got sorted by day and then time. And then you can see it says Persian and motion detected there. Uh, if I scroll through here, there's additional settings. And right now I have uh, alerts enabled here. So every time that motion is detected, it's going to alert me. But let's say I wanted to turn that off. I go up here to the settings here, and then you can see detection, and you can change the detection type. So I'm just going to click detection zones, and uh, let's turn motion detection off for right now. But I would certainly leave that on if you were using it, and then let's turn off person detection right now as well. But you could use pet detection, vehicle detection, line crossing detection, baby crying detection, glass break detection, dog bark detection, and cat meow detection. So that's uh, ingenuitive. I've never seen cat meow detection, but I like it. You could certainly use this for your pets. And then if you go back here, you can turn on or off your alarm. We've got the Tapo Carefree Trial. Our storage and recording, if we click right here, it says uh, if you had a micro SD card, you can enable that or disable that. Record sound, you can enable or disable. So we're gonna leave that on. We definitely wanna record sound. Video and display. You've got uh, night mode settings. I can click night boost. I would definitely live, leave that on there. It says this product features Color Pro night vision with a starlight sensor, which captures high quality images with vivid colors, even in low light conditions. So definitely wanna leave that. 
You've got your viewing distance far for outdoors or if you're going to use it indoors, you can change that so that you don't get as much glare from the infrared. And then you've got your white light, which we showed you earlier. That's these two kind of spotlights that are on here. Uh, we've got that off, but you could certainly turn that on. You could invert the image if you mounted this upside down. You can create privacy drones and you can also display the on-screen info. So I kind of like all that on-screen info. We'll leave it as it is. You could take the logo off if you want. Um, and then it says display tag on screen. We're going to leave that. Spotlight settings, uh, you can turn that. So it says spotlight illuminates the surrounding area and allows the camera to capture footage in vivid color. So you can turn that on or off and adjust the brightness here. So we could go all the way up to five or down if we wanted, and then it'll turn that on for a certain period of time. You've got your status LED. If you didn't want that on, uh, you could turn that off. And then you can see that is now off on the status LED. I could turn that back on right here. And now that status LED is back on. Now this popped up after we used it for a few minutes. It says update required. So we're just going to update it now and then we'll check back in when the update completes. Great, our update is complete. It took about five minutes for that update to complete. So let's go back uh, to the main screen here and you can see our Tapo C120 camera is set up. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Tapo C120 TP-Link camera. This is the indoor outdoor 2K QHD Wi-Fi security camera from Tapo. Just set it up, but it seems pretty impressive. And I hope this video helped you get this set up for your home. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.